South China Morning Post, 9th of December 2022, China criticizes the U.S. for potential sanctions for alleged illicit fishing in the Pacific and Tibetan human rights violations. In addition to carrying out genocide against the indigenous population by eradicating their culture and religious beliefs, China currently occupies Tibet and Xinjiang illegally. China controls more than 80% of the world's fishing fleet and has been destroying non-Chinese fishing stocks worldwide. After news of additional U.S. penalties on China over alleged illegal fishing in the Pacific Ocean and human rights abuses in Tibet surfaced, Beijing accused Washington of turning a blind eye to its crimes. The United States would reportedly sanction 170 mostly Chinese firms for allegedly engaging in illegal fishing in the Pacific, according to a Friday Wall Street Journal report. Target's assets under U.S. jurisdiction will be frozen, and they won't be allowed to travel or conduct business. The action is intended to cut off the targets from the biggest marketplaces in the world, possibly forcing them out of business. In contrast, those connected to those businesses could have trouble traveling. New penalties would also be applied, a U.S. official told the newspaper, on Chinese organizations that Western organizations think are harassing and controlling Tibetans and engaging in human rights violations against them. China would resolutely take strong steps to preserve its legitimate rights and interests, according to Mao Ning, a spokeswoman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry, who said on Friday that Washington was interfering in other nations' domestic affairs under the guise of human rights. She asserted that the U.S. is not qualified to fulfill the role of the international police and is not qualified to impose sanctions on other countries, China, at its discretion. China is the world's bully, and it must be defeated by an alliance of nations rather than by the United States acting alone. Washington has charged China with endangering marine ecosystems by depleting fishing populations and attempting to expand its maritime influence by creating a network of ports outside its borders. The Congressional Research Service stated in a report for lawmakers, published in April, that commercial fishing vessels owned by China's national and local governments are members of China's maritime army and are all armed with firearms. The service stated that after that, the government will demand them to operate in defined waters to defend national sovereignty rights, participate in training in sovereignty defense, and provide support to the People's Liberation Army in war. China is an irresponsible fishing nation and has never collaborated with other members of the international community to crack down on illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activities. It has also done nothing to combat illegal fishing and is one of the most prominent illicit anglers in the world, said Mao. China charged further that the U.S. turns a blind eye to its breaches while blaming other nations. This is a component of China's plan to cast the blame for other nations' wrongdoings, 